Hello everyone, here's another tutorial from Logic Scripts today on the new piano script called Piano Boss. Uh, I'll be showing you a project that I'm working on and how I'm using, actually using the script in this project. Um, let's focus on this track here, which is set up with uh, Easy Keys, the upright piano. Pretty wonderful instrument, suits my needs perfectly. I can definitely recommend it. Uh, on the Easy Keys or on the piano track, I have two instances of Scripter. Instances of Scripter. One is just to set up a keyboard split, so I can use my uh, 25 key MIDI keyboard uh, with a little uh, split and uh, one octave transpose down, so I can play some bass notes and some higher notes without uh, having to use two of my keyboard but that doesn't do anything else than that. And then we have a piano bells running on this uh, track. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll just run, let's play the track or these four uh, bars through for you from the beginning so you can hear what it sounds like right now. Uh, kill switch. Okay, so uh, what does Piano Boss do? First of all, I, uh, I have been getting this question uh, quite a lot lately. What does these scripts do that you can't do in Logic? In, in the case of Piano Boss, it doesn't actually do anything that you can't do in Logic. Uh, you could make all these uh, changes that Piano Boss does in real time. You could do those by editing the piano roll pretty much. But it would take you quite some time. Uh, depending on how experienced you are. Uh, let's say starting at about 15-20 minutes up to an hour, uh, depending on you know how much you edit and how long the track is, obviously. But to do all these changes, you, you'd need quite some time. So it's a time saver, and I think it's a good thing to slam on there while you're in the mood, you're in the zone, inspired. You don't have to edit all the stuff manually. What you can do is to then to bounce it down using the built-in uh, IAC driver and uh, get a minify with these changes already in it and tweak that further. Okay, so uh, the settings for Piano Boss, uh, happily there's almost nothing to set up inside the script. Actually, there's nothing to set up inside the script unless you want to display unless you wanted to trace the notes it's sounding out uh, but I've set that to off in the default mode so you just run it and then all your settings are in the actual interface block CC's means if you're working with a media file that already has some controller changes in it you can just check this box and those ch uh, controller changes will be ignored um, the point behind Piano Boss is to try and make the uh, robotic sounding dead MIDI a little bit more alive. So here's the stuff that you can do. The first setting is to add a random legato. Uh, with legato uh, here I mean an overlap of your tones. So uh, depending, on, depending on how you set this, uh, this will create a random extra length for your tones of well, 0 to 55 milliseconds in this case randomly extend your notes a little bit so they overlap the notes that come after. Uh, the auto legato setting is off then it the auto legato setting is uh, referring to the sustain pedal really. So off it doesn't send out any sustain pedal messages. Mono uh, works best in my opinion then it works on a note to note basis so it pretty much tries and connects all your notes with a sustain, all your unconnected notes with a sustain pedal, but it doesn't create these huge sustain walls of uh, notes, uh, whereas Poly does that. It keeps track of all the notes that are playing and pretty much only releases the sustain pedal if you're down to one or zero notes. The soft pedal is either on or off, uh, and you set the limit for when the soft pedal should kick in here. So, uh, the l the lower the setting, the pickier it is. The higher the setting, the more of your notes will get 
soft pedal. Here you can humanize the velocity in real time for all the notes that are playing. So if this is set to something else than zero, uh, it also affects the soft pedal. So you will get some notes sneaking through here, even though they actually are perhaps over eight or over 65 incoming. This humanization then turns some of them into uh, notes that fall into the soft pedal range. That's pretty much it to liven up the sound. And in these settings you can send, I mean, I'm using Easy Key, so it's all set to default here, but perhaps you have another in piano instrument which uses uh, another control for, uh, for these uh, messages, then you can change it here. It's, you could probably also play around with it and just send out random stuff to something completely other than piano, but that's the point to be able to sort of change it here. And the kill switch, uh, occasionally, you know, you get stuck with a hanging pedal of some sort or a hanging note. This kill switch sends an all, a MIDI all notes off and it also sends an all controls off. Uh, I will change that in the live for sale version of Piano Boss to actually only send the two messages out, out that are set here. All right, so how does this sound? Um, this is the whole four bars with Piano Boss engaged. All right, let's take a look at just the piano uh, with Piano Boss uh, deactivated. This is what the piano the lead piano sounds like all alone. It's not horrible, but I, it's something that I just played in with the keyboard and in the spur of the moment, so to speak. And I don't have any pedals here or anything, so let's, do let's see how piano boss can liven it up. Let's start by setting everything to pretty much to off and. Uh, work our way from there. Um, uh, this is what it sounds like with the poly legato on. You can also see how he's working here. This is with mono legato. You'll see that the uh, sustain pedal action is much more active so to speak. Now we add a little bit of random legato to our note lengths. Okay, let's add some random velocity changes. There's some, quite some activity going on here with the uh, pedaling. Yeah. So we're stuck with a note. Yep, yeah, so let's go A, B it one more time without piano balls. Maybe I've set some of these settings a bit extreme, but it's uh, it sure adds a nice touch, I think, to the perform for performance itself. Um, so if we listen to the whole thing. Actually, I have an Easy Keys uh, electric piano thing as well here. Also with a little bit of Piano Boss going on with these settings. And that's it. Uh, so, uh, my 
my sound uh, engine isn't quite keeping up with the recording of the video here I think uh, yeah some subtle changes I think is the best to treat it like uh, you know like a compressor don't go over board uh, but I mean do whatever you want but uh, I think small doses of these uh, settings applied actually gives you a really nice sound in piano with almost zero effort check this out uh, over at logicscripts.net together with all the other scripts I have up there thanks for watching talk to you later bye bye